What's up guys, it's Sean. Today I'm gonna be cleaning off my workbench in my garage. I know it's not springtime yet, but it's probably been six months since I gave it the attention that's due. We're gonna organize it. We're gonna set it up so I can have the 3D printers running there again. Also just wanted to do this to create a different style of video to show that your content doesn't always have to be product centric like you might think. You can actually do something really entertaining and just feature your products in there. And it's a really good way to grow your audience. So without further ado, let's get it. two of the build. First day I cleaned up the workbench area, got everything nice and tidy. I also sketched out some of the plans that I had for it. And while I was doing that, I realized I needed a couple more things. I need more electrical. So I got an electrical strip. I want to put a shelf up so that I can store that 3D printer because one of my goals with this project is to open up as much workbench surface as possible. And I'm gonna do that by taking the Replicator 2, putting it up on a shelf, and that way only the Method X should be permanently sitting on the workbench itself. I'm also going to, as you probably saw, hang that bike up on a bike rack. Honestly, it's not a bike that I use anymore. It's way too hilly around here. It's a single speed bike, but I have a soft spot in my heart for it. I used it a lot when I lived in New York City. So I wanna keep it around and uh, maybe make it a little bit of nostalgic decoration um, above the workbench. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started on that.
does it for today yeah i think it was overall a success uh it actually took me more like a week after the cleaning video i picked up a shelf got a power strip got a few other things so you know movie magic but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like i said i think everything came out pretty well got the lights up got everything clean got the uh, printer mounted on the shelf and just waiting for one more thing which is the bike rack mount took a little bit longer to get here than I thought, so we'll have to do a part two. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.